Someone please take a photo for the, for the Instagram. Yes, I'm that fucking old. All right. Hold on just a second. I was doing five things at once. All right. I do this one every Christmas. It's kind of like the, oh, there you go. Zach's like, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> every professor, those of you that don't know, I'm a college professor, looks for that one piece, that one element that they can pull out of their back pocket at any time when they're too tired, too hungover, or still too drunk, to accurately bring about a solid performance in the classroom. During December's, I always like to pull this one out. Giggity. And then, <laughs> a look at popular Christmas songs. According to the Huffington Post, a Christmas song is a complex organism. At their best, our classic Yuletide anthems always seem to find that impossible balance between timelessness and nostalgia. Tapping into the greater collective memory of a warm and fuzzy feeling. On the unfortunate flip side, though, Christmas has also inspired more silly, grating novelty songs than the other 364 days combined. And we're left with the annual wintertime conundrum. Can we continue listening to this bullshit? Or can we go on to something else? The answer, of course, always seems to be, no, you're stuck. It's not just that we've forgiven Paul McCartney for one day for Christmas time. The truth is, no matter how many hokey Christmas songs send you racing for the shopping mall exits, there will always be those pristine, unmistakable, permanently enjoyable classics that keep you coming back and feeling the warm, fuzzy Christmas spirit over again. And note the nomenclature, I'm saying Christmas. And that's not a defiance act against political correctness, because no matter the thoughts or the efforts, we celebrate Christmas, unfortunately, primarily around here. How many Hanukkah songs have you ever heard outside of Adam Sandler? Have you ever heard a mention of Kwanzaa on the radio? Ever, unfortunately. Actually, you do on Conrad's Corner because I did nothing but Kwanzaa poems. I didn't do them. I had African-American poets in the Miami Valley record them. You see, most, our, Okay, my fucking problem with Christmas music is the complete lack of variety that comes from it. Yes, you can make the argument that postmodern music, by definition anything from the 1950s until today, is completely lacking in all variety because it's the most overplayed aspect. Well, that's my argument here. However, the flawed nature from the beginning is due to the fact that all music, it, it doesn't matter when or when it was recorded, it's still the same fucking song! It's still the same fucking flawed logic. So let's take a look at the top 10 current lists of Christmas songs and find out if we can spot the flaws in them. In number 10, Santa Baby. I ain't saying she's a gold digger, but apparently she ain't messing with no bro. Oh, okay. You get the idea. Number nine, Sleigh Ride. Those of you that are band geeks know the pain I'm talking about already. A standard played by every orchestra ever. It's a hugely over-technical song to play, and even worse when you try to add lyrics to the damn thing. However, try not to bounce in your seat as if you were on that sleigh. Wait a minute. Has anyone ever actually ridden or seen a sleigh? Yeah. You're lying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Number eight, Winter Wonderland. This song embodies every fear of commitment ever to raise its ugly head. We're going to build a snowman, then pretend that it's a parson desperate to marry somebody, and then we're going to say no. Why were you pretending in the first place? Were you gauging each other's true interests? And that song leads us right into the next song, Baby, It's Cold Outside. She says no seven times in that song. It's going to rape you now. If you look at the original song where it came from in the 1940s, the song was about a woman that had fallen in love with a Hispanic man, and she didn't want to be kicked out of her whole family for loving a Hispanic man. It's even worse. Number six, Feliz Navidad, the only song in Spanish most gringos can actually sing. However, the rest of the song outside the first verse is all in English. Number five, All I Want for Christmas is You. 
Very few males, females, or a lot of other people listen to this song and not think of the picture of Mariah Carey on the cover. Let's be honest. Also, very few individuals would actually be satiated with just having their significant other for Christmas and nothing else, except maybe in those extreme distance scenarios. Number four, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You ever notice that the reindeer didn't accept Rudolph until they were forced to by Santa? No one ever asks about what happened to Rudolph the next day. In fact, in every subsequent Christmas special, Rudolph is never in the North Pole. For every other Christmas special, he's in six of them from Rankin Bass. Never in the North Pole, never interacting with another reindeer ever again. He's always stuck with Frosty. Number three, the 12 days of Christmas. If you're not drunk by the fifth day of Christmas, you're probably taking five good bong hits. The over-repetitive nature of this song is only matched by McCartney. How many of you can actually name all 12 days of Christmas? Shut up. <laughs> You're looking right for MJ. <laughs> they can, I'm sure. <laughs> Number two, grandma got run over by a reindeer. Okay, let's figure this one out. One, you let a drink, drunk grandmother stumble out of the house all by herself. Number two, also, I've never known a person of that age to forget their medication ever. They usually have their medication, their significant other's medication, and your medication, and then some medication that they don't know where the fuck it came from, and the damn candy, in their purse at all times. And number one, White Christmas. You racist bastards. So folks, I'll wrap up this lecture by saying one simple fact. Turn off the station that plays nothing but Christmas music from October on, and if you ever feel the need, just throw on the soundtrack to Charlie Brown Christmas.